Hello, everybody, and welcome to BadgerBeat.com. Rob Hernandez joined by Jim Polzine and Tom Oates as we get ready to preview the Badgers' NCAA quote unquote second round game against American University. And Jim Polzine, we'll start with you. Uh, we've been waiting for this for a long time, and uh, the, the game day is finally here. What do we expect from this ball game? What are the keys to the Badgers coming away with the win? Well, I think for Wisconsin, they have to do well against uh, Americans, Princeton style offense. It's not something they see a lot. The good news is they've seen it in the past. They've seen it from Northwestern in previous years, so they've got some experience with it. Uh, Zach Lohannon, a senior, before he came to UW, played at Air Force, which runs Princeton. So he's been able to get some of his teammates some, some tips on kind of what to expect. So that's the big thing tomorrow, is just going against an offense that they're not, they don't typically see a lot. OT, you've had a chance to hang around these guys now for a while. How do you gauge the mindset of the Badgers going into the postseason? It's a team that could go a long way, or it's a team that could have a short stay? Well, I think that pretty much sums up about every team in the tournament. Uh, it's a, you know, there's a lot of parity in college basketball these days. Nothing would surprise me. I do think it's a confident team. I think they've won eight out of their last ten games. Uh, I think we can, you know, and, and both, of the, both the teams that beat them were, were really good teams playing really well. Uh, I think they have a lot of confidence. Um, I'll go the flip side to what Jim was talking about. I, I, I think, uh, you know, this is an offensive-minded team. And, you know, if the Badgers come out fast and, and hit like they did against Minnesota, you know, they could go a long way in this tournament. If, if, if the, the confidence they have on offense uh, manifests itself, there won't be so much pressure on their defense like there is every year. And uh, uh, it's, it's a pretty good offensive team. And if you look at their record, they've been, they've been good. I mean, they've been very consistently good uh, ever since that midseason slump. I'm going to ask both of you guys this question. Who has to play big? Who has to play a key role for the Badgers to, to not only get through Milwaukee, but take them deep into the tournament? In your mind, who's the key postseason player, Tom, for the Badgers? I think it's Jimmy and I would probably say the same guy. It's the guy Jimmy's writing about uh, <laughs> in his game day uh, story. It's Frank Kaminsky. Uh, but I'll let Jimmy talk about Frank Kaminsky. I would talk about Sam Decker. Right. I think Sam Decker's huge. I think he's the kind of offensive player uh, who just demands defensive attention. He can do so many things and score in so many ways. And we've seen recently that there's times when he comes out and he is just a dominant force on the floor. And then there's other times where he fades into the background. And for whatever reason that is, uh, maybe he's questioning some of the shot selection. Maybe he's he's getting roughed up uh, physically. Whatever reason, uh, he's been kind of off and on. And I think when Sam Decker's on, this is a really good team. All right, Frank the Tank. Jimmy I agree, Pete. and I, I totally agree. I think Frank Kaminsky, when he's really good, this team is really good. When he's confident and assertive in the post, uh, this team, the sky's the limit for him, the sky's the limit for this team. The thing with him, and I wrote about this for the paper today, tomorrow, is, uh, you know, he, he sometimes gets down on himself and, and starts talking to himself, and he's got to avoid that. He's got to move on. If something bad happens, move on to the next thing. I want to answer that question a different way, too. They don't need Trey Jackson and Bronson Koenig, the point guards, to be great, but they cannot afford them to be bad. They need to be good decisions, make good decision makers, get the ball in the right hands, the hands of the right people, and point guard play is so important all the time, but especially in the NCAA tournament. If those two guys can split that position and be good, that means so much for this team. Uh, one, one more thing, Rob. Yeah. That, that, uh, another key to this team that's developed, I think, in, in recent weeks, has been the play of the both freshmen. Uh, uh, clearly, Nigel Hayes has been a factor since early in the season, but Bronson Koenig has made great strides. He's had two, you know, double-figure scoring games, but he's seen more time. He's much more confident on the floor with the ball, making things happen, uh, getting into the lane and, and dropping passes off for, for dunks or layups or things like that. And uh, a team that really didn't have a bench at the beginning of the year has a pretty good bench right now if these two freshmen aren't awed by the, by the surroundings. Uh, so th th there's two more factors right there. It just seems Brust and, and, and Gosser and Trey Jackson kind of come to play every game. They're solid, and, you steady. Know, they're they're yeah. pretty steady and solid. And, and we've kind of touched on the rest of them right. for the most part. So Well, consistency's been a big key to these Badgers this year. We'll see how consistent they are as they begin their run in the NCAA tournament right here at the Bradley Center against American University. That game at 1140 on Thursday. Jim Polzine, Tom Oates, I'm Rob Hernandez. Thanks for watching Badger Beat. We'll see you at the Bradley Center.